Uh, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Go ahead and press tag and share because I have some things for you tonight. Praise God. Praise God. You know, I just don't get up on here. Hallelujah. God has been moving. God has been speaking. God has been talking. And I'm going to just go ahead and make it very plain. I couldn't even do, give a title. My computer just started acting really weird, which, you know, that's spiritual warfare period in the story. Um, hello, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. Um, and the crazy part is as if they already know my title. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. And after we get off of here, I'll tell you the title as far as in a written form. But this is what God told me, because God, let me tell you something. <laughs> God is today is, is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. God does not change. Not for you. Not for me. Come on, somebody. How do you, let me walk this thing out. My title is. Stop worrying about Kanye, God says. And I'm going to tell you why on um, some verses right now, God says. God said, let it go, because here's the deal. King James, 1 John 2.19 says, They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. What am I saying? Those people following Kanye, not even Christians. That's right. You heard what I said. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there worrying about people. No, no, no. God says worry about you. Stay focused. It's a diversion. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Anytime. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Anytime you have an anointing on your life, you have a calling on your life. You see, the enemy knows that next year that God is getting ready to shift. You remember I told y'all that 2020 is going to be a real shift. I'm, I'm not talking about them fake shifts that's been everybody prophesying. No, I'm talking about a real dimensional shift to where the remnant will come up. So what they're trying to do is divide God's church, but the remnant can't be divided. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The remnant can't be divided. Only the ones that are not on the remnant can be divided and persuaded. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The remnant is grounded. We grounded in truth. We won't compromise. We see you coming before you come. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. So what the enemy is trying to do is to trying to get us our, our attention off of God, off of the anointing, off of your assignment, off of what God called you to do. Come on somebody. It's a diversion. And one thing about a distraction too, it's a diversion and a distraction. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And anytime that the enemy is trying to distract you, most of the time you don't even know it's a distraction until it's finished distracting you. God says, come on somebody. Hallelujah. That's why you have to have a relationship with God. Oh, come on somebody in this hour. You better not get caught up in that world in this. You better not get caught up in that gossip. You better not get caught up in that talking. You better stay with God. Hallelujah. Because God going to tell you what time it is. I don't care if the whole world go against you. Stand for God. God says hallelujah this is how we do this thing that's why people are fickle oh come on somebody because if you don't have a strong foundation remember i told you there's a crack in the foundation last week anytime you have a strong foundation the storms come you ain't moving the tests come you ain't moving the trials come you ain't moving come on somebody hallelujah. people move like this because they have no foundation i just said something god says stay focused let me continue what he says another scripture he told me to tell y'all hold on Praise God, sitting up there worrying about, no, no, don't worry about that, man. Tell me what God say. Hallelujah. So 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 1 to 3, King James Version, it says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. You see, the true remnant, we, we gather together anyway. We don't care about what they're doing. So, no, we're not going to do this. Stay focused, said the Lord. Hold on. Let me continue. Verse 2, it says, that ye not be soon shaken in your mind. Hello, anytime somebody could just come from out the wind and tell you something, you ain't rooted anyway. Oh, come on, somebody, let me continue. Or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter from us, as that day of Jesus Christ is at hand. Of Christ is at hand, excuse me. And verse 3, it says, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Can I tell y'all what time it is? This is just history. It's going to be a great falling away. If, let me tell you something. These people know. People know. But remember what Second Timothy says, that in these last days, that people will, they will want to, they have itching ears. They want to do what they want to do. The flesh want to feel good. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And music, you got to understand who has orchestrated this. Oh, I just got through saying something. Who was the choir director of heaven? 
It's Lucifer. Lucifer owns the music industry. You can say what you want to say, how you want to say it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So all of us understand. And I really didn't even want to get up on here and talk about this because I don't want to talk about it no more. Because guess what? I already know. I see the handwriting on the wall. You know what old people used to say? I see the handwriting on the wall. Can I tell y'all something? And this is a thus say the Lord. Watch. God say just watch. Y'all, you ain't got to say nothing. Just watch. I'm telling you, God going to reveal. As a matter of fact, in this season, God said, I will allow them to actually expose themselves in this hour. Y'all sitting up there worrying about what people are doing, what they ain't doing. God says, I need you to stay focused. I need you to stay on your assignment because the enemy is trying to get you off your assignment. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, you are. You. Let me tell you something. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Something's coming. Something's coming and it's not good. That's why they got you. Whenever they want a diversion, they send something real big to divide Christians. So have us fighting on Facebook, Crookbook, all in the news, everywhere, fighting about who's real, who isn't. Does it really matter? Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because <laughs> let me tell you something. The line is being drawn in the sand. And God said you will be able to tell them by their fruit. Anybody that understands spiritual fruit, you already know what time it is. But when you are, when you don't understand and you're a babe in Christ, you go anyway, anyway. You have no strong foundation. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm talking up in here. God says, stay focused in this hour. Saints, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm talking to the real the room. I ain't talking to you. The what the rest of you just go all over the world. Ain't nobody talking to you. I'm talking to the remnant. God say, stay on your assignment. God say, fast more. God say, pray more. God say, we have much work to do. God say, I'm coming. God say, I'm coming. The God says, I'm coming. Hallelujah. He says, I'm coming. Be ready. He says, you're supposed to be ministering. He said, get out there. People need you out in the streets. Y'all sitting up there staying in the church. God said, I need you in the highways and byways. I need you on your job. I need you in your homes. Come on, somebody. He said, your, your family is your first ministry. How can you minister to everybody else and then cuss out your family? Oh, hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Y'all better stop that because I know for a, for a personal, y'all do that. Y'all be nice to everybody else and treat your family like crap. And God says, stop that. Man of God, woman of God, you a liar before God. Hallelujah. And, and, and you getting exposed too. Because everybody that say, Lord, Lord, is not with God. Most of you are for his benefits. Or most of you get up on here just to preach and teach for money. Yeah, I'm saying it like that. And God said, you got your reward. I hope you're spending well because you will not enter into the heaven. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what that said the Lord. Sitting up there fooling his people behind money and honey and funny. Everything you do comes back to you, said the Lord. Hallelujah. So watch. She said, watch. She said, watch how you, you better act accordingly. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. He said, act accordingly. He said, because I'm writing down everything. Everything you do and everything you say, it should be a witness against you in heaven and earth, said the Lord. Hallelujah. This stuff real. Y'all sitting up there playing with something that's dangerous. This is dangerous. The gospel of God is dangerous. Playing with God is dangerous. The Bible said it is a terrible and fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. Hallelujah. This stuff real. So don't worry about them. Don't worry about him. Worry about it. Jesus. Hallelujah. Do what God has called you to do, woman of God. Do what God has called you to do, man of God. Come on, somebody, and count the cost. He says, count the cost. He says, count the cost. Because it will cost you your life. Hallelujah. These people are not playing. Hallelujah. Get in your word. Stop touching the unclean thing. Stop being so desperate. Some of you too desperate. Too desperate for opportunity and connections. God say, I'm the good connection. I'm all you need. And I'll tell you who to go to, where to go to. And, I, and guess what? Truth be told, you ain't got to go looking for anything. When the power of God is with you, it'll come to you. Hallelujah. And it'll be confirmation. I better understand what time it is. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So that's all God told me to tell y'all. Quit worrying about them people. Still your assignment. We got work to do. Y'all don't see our people dying up in here? We got work to do. We don't have time to play with them people. That's what they want because guess what? When, whenever you're distracted, you can't stay focused. You lose your anointing because you start doing other things that God didn't call you to and God didn't assign you to. Hallelujah. And then y'all be wanting God to co-sign that stuff. God cannot co-sign anything that he didn't assign. Somebody write that in the comments. God cannot co-sign anything that he didn't assign you to. Stick with your assignment, people of God. Hallelujah. And that's all God told me to say. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.
<laughs> they don't want me to turn it off, you guys. Wow. <laughs> they don't like when I bring that fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name, though. God is still good. Wow. They would not let me turn off this computer. See? See what I'm saying? They're scared of me. Be very scared. I haven't even come into my full anointing yet. So I'm going to talk crazy to y'all. May let me in it. Because guess what? You can't stop God. Y'all crazy. Little onions and minions with your little opinions. Trying to, do do y'all see that I keep pressing the button? <laughs> they crazy. I told you they was crazy. <laughs> this is this is crazy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God. Is that right there? That look like a little hole in the computer, y'all. That's crazy. Wow. 